Sundays at Zoo Canadians with roots in Pakistan and features community information and entertainment. World Peace Organization का यहाँ पे City of Surrey में एक प्रोग्राम हो रहा है और उसमें Stand Up with Canada is asked to stand up with Kashmir and the supporter of Kashmir along with DAP TV is here so keep watching the Lapna Pakistan thank you. It's amazing, guys. So, if you want to pop up, we have the washrooms right under the stairs in the back. Keeping our community safe and growing the economy for everyone. Oh, you guys get ahead of time, that's cool. It's helpful. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I'm going to go to the camera. I'm going to go to the camera. I'm हर कम्युनिटी के लोग आए हुए हैं और जलसा हो रहा है यहाँ पे ऐसा जलसा हो रहा है जिसमें लोगों की तादाद बड़ी तादाद में लोग देखे जा रहे हैं और लोग आएंगे देखें इन्होंने अपने मंशूर का मंशूर बताना है लिबरल पार्टी क्या किस तरह से अगले पांच साल कनाडा को रूल करना चाहती है तो हम आपको इसकी तफसील दिखाएंगे देखते रहिए मंशूर की जान दिल अपना पड़ेगा its community. Randeep Sarai, the candidate for Surrey Centre. Going up in such a mass number. In fact, we've had to change it from a venue inside to the rally in the alley and make it all outside. I think this is one of the largest rallies uh, Surrey's ever had, uh, and any candidate or or any. Weapons of mass destruction. We need search and rescue capability. Countries that say no to foreign corporate interests should not be threatened with a military blockade. Canada's military and arms industry must be transitioned dating back to 1966. He was a member of the Provincial Advisory Council on Multiculturalism and assisted in the passage of BC's Multiculturalism Act. Mr. Rai was appointed as the first assistant deputy minister and head of ministry responsible for multiculturalism and immigration in 1994. Also a writer and advocate in the community, Mr. Rai was recognized for his dedicated volunteer work and his efforts in promoting better intercultural relations. He considers the message of peace and harmony important and it is the theme of his unique artwork we are very pleased today that Mr. Rice presenting the city of Surrey with one of his artworks on behalf of Global Peace Alliance. Mr. Rai. Okay. I was really 
moved when I saw the First Nations greetings here. This is not part of my notes, but I want to acknowledge what Novi said. We have multiculturalism in Canada. Should never forget that they were the people here who were the first settlers, and we pay our homage and our tribute to those people. God bless them. single day. So let's hear it once again for this incredible BC team. This team is going to keep moving forward on the work we've started to keep building a better future for all Canadians. Mes chers amis, cet automne, on est à bien choisir quel genre d'avenir on veut bâtir ensemble. Après dix ans de politique conservatrice qui ne fonctionnait pas, L'économie canadienne était au neutre. La croissance de l'économie, la création d'emplois, la croissance des salaires, rien de tout ça ne bougeait parce que le gouvernement conservateur pensait que l'austérité et les coupures étaient la réponse à tout. Well, in 2015, Canadians chose a new team, one that rejected conservative cuts and austerity, one that was willing to invest in the middle class and people working hard to join it. And over the last four years, that's exactly what we've done. From introducing a Canada child benefit that puts more money back in parents' pockets, to raising taxes on the wealthiest 1% so we could cut them for the middle class. But as Liberals, we know that better is always possible. And between bills and taxes, a lot of people are still worried about making ends meet. So we're going to keep moving forward. Earlier this week, we announced that we will once again lower taxes for Canadians. Now, Andrew Scheer and the Conservatives might think that giving a hand up to the wealthiest Canadians is the right approach, but we know that's not how we make progress. We know that it's by investing in Canadians and in their future that we move forward. After the previous government raised the age of retirement, 
we restored eligibility for benefits to 65. And earlier this month, we announced that we're going to increase old age security to, at the age of 75 and boost the Canada Pension Plan survivors' benefit. And it's exactly the same story on keeping our communities safe. After the previous government made it easier to buy a gun, we reversed that bad decision. And last week, we announced that we will ban military-style assault rifles and we will give the tools to cities to ban handguns. The time for thoughts and prayers is over. The time for a conservative approach that would loosen restrictions on assault weapons that would let people get a gun without even showing a license to own it, well, there was never a time for that in the first place. It's up to us to do more. It's up to us to keep moving forward. Thank you.
happiness while we enjoy the friendship of our loved ones and learn from the value of sharing and caring. So since this is a peppy number, I'm gonna request everybody to join hands with me, come on.
with the message of spreading peace and I'm hoping that everybody takes this message home that we are not going to be afraid of any challenges. We are going to overcome all challenges. We all have challenges in life. And if somebody is there to love and support you, you are blessed. And do not be afraid. And let's all join together one more time that we are going to spread the message of peace and we are going to try our best to live in peace. Thank you so much. Pakistan is doing the right thing. Pakistan is doing the right thing. Nadeen, Dilabra Pakistan ke saath in Mahmud. Aaj yaha pe Bhat Sahab ne aur Musra Sahab ne ek restaurant ki opening ki hai aur Taste of Lahore ke naam se. Aajhi Bharta zara bataiye ka ye Taste of Lahore ka क्या खास टेस्ट है खास यह जी के मुस्तफा साहब का हाथ है हाँ भी चलाया है पंद्रह बीस इंडस्ट्री में रहे हैं हाँ जी हाँ जी इन्हीं की रेसिपी और हमारी दुआइन के साथ है बिल्कुल बिल्कुल और वो जो फूड बोर्ड है ग्वाल मंडी दिस टाइम वो ऑलरेडी रनिंग इन टू दैट यू नो दैट व्हाट एवर पीपल हैव बीन हीरिंग फ्रॉम द you know, and they, they think that uh, maybe this government has done some good things. Not everything perfectly, but some good things is worth having around again. So, I mean, that's part of it. Can, can, what do you see the challenge this time, and what are you promising for the next term, uh, if you are elected? Well, I mean, the challenge is always when, when you're the incumbent, when you've been in government for four years, you've made some choices, right? You've chosen to do this instead of that. So the people who wanted this are happy, and the people who wanted that are not as happy. And so the main thing, and it gets down to the difference between basically the two parties that are in, in the thick of it, the Conservatives and the Liberals. I mean, the Conservatives believe very strongly in small government, government that stays out of your way, lets the, the market look after things, right? Well, the Liberals also believe that you know we need a free market system, but we also believe that when something's not happening right, then it's the government's duty to step in and do something about it. And part of that goes to what we call vision. Okay, what what do we imagine the the, the country is supposed to be like in the next four years, the next twenty years? And that's that could be made up of a bunch of things. We see something, for instance, that isn't right, needs to be fixed. So one of the things would be drinking water on First Nations reserves. We have some people, we have some communities that have been boiling their water for 20 years, even though they've got water coming out of the tap, it's not fit to drink. So in the last parliament, we made it a priority to fix that. And we're going to have all of those systems fixed our timetable is to have it done by March 2021 okay so I mean, that's an example of you see something that needs doing and then you also if you're if you're really trying to be smart about it you look and see what's coming down the road at the future that you need to pay our we look at uh, the demographics that is you know the various age groups in the country in 2015 in Erdine, we crossed a, a very interesting point where there were more people in my age group in Canada than there were in his age group. And that's important because our social programs rely on working people to support you know, the people who aren't working anymore. And we had maybe 25 years ago, for every retired person, we had six working people. Right now, it's maybe three working people for a retired person. And if we don't do something, it'll be two to one or maybe even one to one. And then we can't sustain those more programs. More immigrants or more kids? <laughs> well, I don't know. You choose. <laughs> I mean, you know, we, had, we had the big baby boom, and I was the, the sort of the leading edge of the baby boom in, in the late 1940s. Um, but you're right, and this is where, when we look at the... Um, 
the situation in Canada today, we know we need more people, and the best way to do that is through immigration. Thank you.